Hello, everyone. Welcome to Meticulous Talks uh, on June 23rd. I am Chris Gordes. And I'm Heath Rock. And this is, I guess, part two of our uh, stream about the recent rules update. This one covering the topic that was big enough for a whole stream on its own, the change of the block boundary uh, from between Defenders and Sequestria to Between Marks in Time and Defenders. Yep. Hmm. Reset blocks. Reset blocks, yeah. Uh, which means that probably, we don't have a confirmation of it yet, but probably, since we have now Defenders, Sequestria, and Friends Forever together, the next set is likely to start its own block, and that means that Core will be rotating. Yeah, so the Defenders block right now actually shows us a little bit of the future of Core. Hmm. Which means that uh, we can perhaps prognosticate and predict a little on uh, what that future is going to look like. And that's what we'll be doing this stream. Yep, spoilers, purple is not great. Purple is not great. I mean, honestly, the first thing, if, 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 if you don't mind me getting right to it, the first thing that I noticed is that like control problems in general are just not great. Like all of the good control problems are uh, rotating out. Mm -hmm. Yellow actually best... has the hardest to confront problems now. <laughs> yeah, I think the best control problem we have right now is easy escape, uh... and that's like the only one with high enough confronts. Mm -hmm. and good enough effect. Yeah. So that means that probably, well, next set, we'll get a good uh, idea of which uh, colors can even try control based on which get problems that work for it. Yep. Uh, but beyond that, I was just kind of going to run down the colors. Uh, that work for you? Yep. Okay. So we start out with blue. Uh, which I guess, top thing we can say, uh, if we go to the mains to look at, uh, blue farming's not going to work anymore. Because Ambassador's gone. You could still do something with Wonderbolt. That's, that's fair, I guess. Uh, but it's not as good as uh, Ambassador of Loyalty. Yeah, not quite. Just because you don't get the extra wreck during face-offs, right? Yeah. Uh, not only that, but like the free movement, the extra power. Well, I guess uh, Wonderbolt has the extra power, but there's also like a thing that's uh, Loyalty. Ambassador of Loyalty has a better flip condition. Like you just need to start a face-off and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. No need to confront for them anything. And also the fact that Defender's block doesn't have my, many epics. We have only like two? Uh, Storm King and... Oh no, three. Storm King, uh, Chrysalis, yeah. which isn't a great farming main. And I'm um, not, not main, uh, Troublemaker. Troublemaker. And Pony yeah. of Shadows. Pony of Shadows, that's right. Yep. Doesn't feel like enough to farm. I mean, we felt like that was going to happen when Core rotated the first time. Yeah, that's a fair point. Yeah. Uh, the thing is, we don't have any villains. Hmm. Uh, yes, that is true. We don't. And that's a big problem. I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like almost every... There has been a farming deck that's been at least somewhat viable in like almost every set since farming existed. Now, for the most part, that's just by default because orange still happened. But I, I feel like some color is going to be able to do it. If not blue, maybe thorax. I don't know. Yeah. I think thorax has a better chance at farming right now. But to come back to blue, 
Uh, we can mention the other two mains that are also rotating out, uh, the two very, very good aggro mains of Princess Luna and Skirdlu. Um Also large losses for the color. Yeah, but uh, while those are the big losses for the color, I don't think the blue aggro is dead, as one person has been keeping playing the same sequestria main. Mm -hmm. And it was working well for him, as far as aggro is concerned. Yep. I don't think most of the cards in that deck are going anywhere, either. Yeah, not really. I guess you're losing, like, Speedfire and Rutherford, and that's it. Yeah, something like that. And neither of those was, like, core to the main idea. So. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, and I also kind of agree. It's, uh, the Seleno is probably going to be the, the standard bearer of blue control, uh, blue aggro. Presumably, like, uh, uh, given that it's, it's uh, worth pointing out that given that the next set is going to start a block, it's probably almost necessarily going to have a main for at least uh, one of each color, so some of this is uh, speculation. But Yeah, maybe you'll see something interesting there. And Gallus is a fine main too. I mean, he's he, he hasn't really had any use so far. But so the thing with Gallus in Defender's block is that in core we had so much more hasty cards, and in Defender's block not as many. Like there's still some immediate cards, mm -hmm. but you just don't have as many options as you have in core right now. Yeah, it's probably fair to say. So I'm not not convinced on Gallus. Maybe Gallus needs more sets. I think. Well, he'll get him. Uh, as to the rest, everyone obviously goes to like Night Glider uh, is gone and um, replace her with Daybreaker. Yeah, yeah, Daybreakers are fine replacement. Um, what else even is there? You mentioned Spitfire, you mentioned Rutherford. Uh, T-Rex Reign of Terror is a big one. Ah, yes. Yeah, no, Blue has some like good dilemmas in Defender's block, but still T-Rex Reign of Terror is a cheap and great dilemma that's a big loss for Blue. Absolutely. And also I think Uneven Ground is another thing. Oh yes, Uneven Ground. We can be safe with our AT again. Yep. If only we had our covers to covers. It's true. I think we have. I, I, I think we have adequate replacement for cover to cover. Honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, blue loses its only form of quasi resource removal in trash. Oh yeah, like blue pink doesn't have any resource removal in defenders block. Mm -hmm. Which is, I guess, a problem, but I don't think many people were running trash tenure. Yeah, it, it didn't really have resource removal before either. Yeah. So I guess it will be e uh, not easier, harder to splash into colors without barrel too. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that, that's another like I guess general topic off the top with barrel gone. Um, and, and with Barrel and Transmissions gone, Multicolor is a lot harder. Yeah, but the, the main thing with Barrel was is that it was reusable, meaning you can, like, once you have it, you have access to any color anytime, meaning it's so much easier to splash into a third color. Yeah, that's why Speech doesn't really replace it. Mm -hmm. Or Fire. So I guess it's time to run Colorless Main Six. Boy, that would be that would be something. <laughs> uh, the other big card I'm seeing is the uh, other lane, Marks. Oh yeah. 
So I guess we haven't seen him that much lately. Yeah, last time I remember him seeing play was in Blue Farm, which we already mentioned about. And you have cards like Flash Magnus, which fit well instead of Tom Dwayne. Mm -hmm. That's true. So I think Blue has options. Absolutely. Interestingly oh. enough, with, uh, yeah. with Defenders staying in, uh, Blue gets to hang on to Ember. Uh, and like it, it basically gets to hang on to its better dragons. Um, which blue dragon deck ever becomes a thing it at least has a chance now yeah that's a fair point my general impression on blue that it like it lost some and gained some so it's like stays more or less same-ish yeah I, I think that's fair to say so some of like the super strong blue cards are you know, from sequestra and that's for her anyway, so. Yeah. Should be an okay spot. All right, orange? Yep. Now, the conversation about mains is a little bit different here in orange. Um, the three that we have left over and the tooled up Grummer and Smolder, and neither of them have very have done much of anything. You forgot about Apple Bloom. Oh, that's right. <laughs> well, I, I, I meant the three that are uh, yeah. staying. I mean, if, 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 if we want to talk about rotation, we both forgot about Muffin Mare then. Uh, yeah, I, I want actually to mention Muffin Mare because that's the card that actually saw some play. Okay. And yeah, like Orange had one good main. It, it was like kind of the same situation with the white and like with Octavia and Orange had Muffin Mayor, which is an okay Orange main. The only okay Orange main in core as far as I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. And Orange doesn't have that anymore. So yeah. Yeah, basically. I, I don't think you're going to run Grubber in Defender's Block. Like, you could consider Grubber in core if you're, like, running breakdowns and things like that, but there's no breakdowns in Defender's Block. Yeah, it's... Like, I don't think any of them are so bad that they could never work. Like, maybe there's hope if they get some support cards, like something that replaces Breakdown, like you said, or something like that. Uh, yeah. But... At the same time, not like blue, you know. Th th there is none that really stands on its own. Says, oh yeah, that's going to be the card that's going to do orange right now, as far as we can see. Yeah, I think the closest to that we have right now is Smolder. I think Smolder can, like, and Smolder and all the Dragon synergy. Mm -hmm. But that's, like, the only thing that I can see. Yeah, and it's it's like... The shell of a deck still is it's not a, yeah. a real thing yet. Yeah. Yeah, and it's also like not a generic main which you could put into any deck. Like Smolder kinda requires you to build around her. Like you you're not going to make an aggro deck with Smolder, are you? Probably not. So it's kind of like Muffin Mare in that sense. Muffin Mare also requires specific deck building around her. Yeah. So that's, yeah, that's the basic ask for Orange. It's just something nice and generic that works with anything. Mm -hmm. Which is a repeat um, note that we'll come back to, as you mentioned, for white, probably. Yeah. And this has been going on for several sets already with orange and white. Mm -hmm. All right, well, as for the rest. Factory Jack. Oh, I see. We're going to. If you want to mention the multicolors now, I was going to cover the multicolors. Oh, okay. Okay, we can do them later, sure. Yeah. But it's true. Uh, 
I mean, yeah, yeah. After Jack, who's now chaos is dead. Finally, I mean, it, it was not around much, but now you can't do it at all, basically. Yeah, it's you can, but it's really hard. And probably not in orange and more like in pink. Mm -hmm. So, the, but, sorry. Go yeah. Ahead. No, no. Okay. Well, Proceed. yeah. I was gonna say the uh, the big thing that I see going is a lot of orange's discard power, uh, like smart cookies, zap apples. Um, yeah. Remarkable. Yeah. The uh, the cards that really work. Like there are still uh, discard outlets. That kind of orange discard aggro doesn't work anymore. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm. I'm actually not sure what an orange aggro deck looks like in Defender. There isn't much aggro in the latest sense for orange. Like, fly from the sky is like the best or aggro orange tool we've got lately. Yeah, it's probably some earth pony thing with pink. Yeah, but then again, Earth Pony P thing is like doing eccentric things, so it's not really aggro either. So it's it's weird in that. I mean, what about the power counter thing? I don't know. If I've seen like skeletons. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. Like with the boil and other sequestra cards. Yeah. Yeah, I guess power counter aggro could work, yeah. But you don't have a main for that deck. Well, we're not going to have a main for any orange deck that we talk about. <laughs> the uh, big thing that orange appreciates with Defender staying in is that Catajack is still around, obviously. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, Defenders in general has quite a bit of good cards for orange. Like, there's also Limestone, and in Sequester we have Big Mac, which is a big thing, a resource removal for Orange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't think Orange actually loses much beside mains and discard mechanics. Uh, yeah, that's fair. I mean, if we, if we, if we go down to resources, we still hang on to Shovel and Desert Road, mm -hmm. uh, which are the two big ones. Actually, lose a lot of orange resources, but yeah, no Appaloosa. But Appaloosa didn't see much play lately. And if we dive into multicar a little bit, there's also Wonderbolt Stadium, but yeah. Yeah, the interesting thing is the event suite that's left. Which is just taking care of business, sponge gate break, pie from the sky, and power play. Those are all aggro events. Mm -hmm. So, it's a little, as you say, it's a little strange. Fine to think. Yeah. I think it'll be really interesting to see some actual working orange decks and what they do. Mm -hmm. Oh, also, we lose a rock farmer, which is the most important thing. Oh, that's right. Yes. <laughs> Orange is no longer a Trixie color. I mean, I, I, I feel you're lost. Um. <laughs> anyway, pink? Uh, yeah. Early flop. Early flop is still in, isn't it? Yeah. That's the first thing that comes to mind doing it's, defenders. It's true. Early flop. But no sun up. No sun up. We're slowly picking away at the ways to make it worse. Early flop will be fair someday. <laughs> Uh, is it though? Like you can still make a lot of tokens with pink. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it's <sighs> only time will tell if it's actually yeah. going to be. Yeah. Uh, 
far as mains go, we're still holding on to Silverstream and Skystar, so we're basically still fine. Um, Lyra is the only real loss. Uh, Skystar replaces her well, I think. If you're building like a mid rangey kind of deck. Yeah, yeah, it, it, it's, it's basically only the decks that really, really wanted Lyra, which is like... I feel like Lyra has been used, but anyway. Yeah. But yeah, with, with both Silverstream and Skystar, you basically have a base to do anything you want in the color. Uh, more control -y stuff with Silverstream and just kind of anything with Skystar. Yep. As far as single pink cards cards are concerned and not the multicolor cards, I think the biggest losses are like EFF. EFF, yeah, it's true. Uh, I think in the yeah. Well, I, I was gonna mention breakdown as well. That's it. Oh yeah, breakdown definitely. And as I mentioned before, Sonata is a big loss for pink right now with Barrier Point banned. Another thing that's really good in pink, I mean, it's it hasn't seen much play, but it's a good thing to have, is Flitter, which is an AoE removal, which we don't see very often. That's a good point. Um, with how much... Like, Flitter had a, ha had a chance to be useful with, like, um, what's the card? Fluttershy and Applejack, uh, Treading Water. Mm-hmm. Becoming better. Twitter's like an okay answer. Again, not, not going to be there, but. Yeah, actually, for, uh, for my own kind of minor inclusion, uh, Torch Song. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, granted, with Barrel rotating out, she wouldn't have been good for anything anyway, but still, another card that makes multicolor harder, not having it. Yeah. There are also some removal cards like Food Fight, but we still have plenty of removal in pink and Defender's Block. Yeah, we have Belly Flop. We need more. <laughs> I think pink does lose some good problems, though. Like, uh, it's a secret to every pony. I think that's what it's called. It uh, makes things cheap. Secret, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that was a very popular one. Yeah, there's also some control mm -hmm. pink problems, like figuring out friendship, which is really good, or anchor with cutes in. Mm -hmm. yep. So if you want to do heavy control with pink, it's going to be harder to do, because mm -hmm. I think, if not all, most of the pink problems we have right now are either 6 or 5. Uh, tough Call is still a 7, besides that. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. But it's got 2 bonus, so... Mm -hmm. Not zero. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. We are like in in the re in the more recent sets, the bonuses have been much higher for the higher confront problems as well. Yeah. Days of of yeah, say figuring out friendship. Ten to confront, zero bonus. My goodness. Yeah, yeah, those days are gone. I already want them back. But the only uh, the only resources Pink actually has left. It's only two. It's Blindfold and Friendship Festival set up. And they're both okay. It's true. Blindfold's pretty good with all the mist mains going around. That's that that is a very important point actually. When we get to white, we can Yeah. Miss Main is uh becoming a foundational card. Not that she wasn't already, but like everything that she might have been uh, like everything you might have put in instead of her is basically rotating out. So. Mm -hmm. And I think she's the only like point scoring engine left if we if we rotate. Um, so there's because Defenders is staying in, we still have Throne. 
Um, okay, yeah, that's fair. There's Throne, and I guess there's also Gallus and Selena. Uh, yeah. Anyway. Uh, anything else to say about pink? My general opinion that's pink is pretty good. Haven't gotten much worse after it. It lost some stuff, but still kept a lot of good things. That's right. I was actually just going to mention that. Thank you, uh, chat. All the, all the puppy shenanigans are still here. Uh, yeah, most of them. Well, yeah, yeah, like. Except for the weird harmony stuff like Spyglass, etc. Yeah, which we gone, didn't obviously. have in the core anyway. Yeah, but uh, Party Mayor, uh, Flurry Heart, uh, Wild Wonders, kind of the, the important, somewhat probable Sea Poppy cards are still, mm -hmm. uh, still around. I believe GP was running the Sea Poppy deck for Deco. Huh. I'd be interested to see the results. I mean, he's here right now, and that tournament's over, so... What is there yeah, to say? I think he, he, post, he posted his deck somewhere, but yeah. Oh, maybe I just didn't look at it. Actually, it, it's in Slack. I should just find it. Yep. Looks like a poppy deck. Yeah, actually, it's a good point. Uh... If it is going to be aggro all over the place, this is. I see pieces of hot wings in here with Poppy. Basically, Poppy wings. <laughs> Give Poppy wings already. <laughs> That's going to be interesting. Uh, it's, it's, it's not, well. I'm trying to think, has, has, has there ever been a time where a deck started in Harmony and migrated to Core? Uh, I mean, Hot Wings was originally in Harmony, right? Yeah. I mean, it, and, and it was... It didn't really migrate to Core, like, I didn't, didn't see much people playing. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's okay, so... The weird thing is, I guess... Everything was originally Harmony, and then when Core started, some things moved to it, right? So yeah. it's kind of a dumb question, given that that happened. Okay, uh, if we want to look at the decks that like happened to migrate after, like the Core was already a thing, uh, Clonicon was such, and Chaos Control. Mm, oh yeah, that that that's a good point. Yeah, both of those decks appeared like way after Core started. Uh, okay. Alright, so you, you want to start talking about purple? Yep. I can talk all day about purple. Commence the weeping and gnashing of teeth. <laughs> yeah, so the thing with purple is, well, since we were starting on mains on for all the previous colors, as far as purple mains are concerned, we're in still in pretty good sh shape. We still have Tempest and Grubber, which is all that current purple decks run anyway, so not much change there. So I think Tempest is kind of a boring main, like I don't have much fun playing it. It just does one thing and does nothing else. So it's kind of sad for me to lose uh, Ambassador of Friendship, which I really like. That's fair to say. Yep. Yeah. As far as everything else goes, oh boy, purple loses pretty much everything it has without really good replacements for it. So we lose Portal, but it's okay. It's okay. Portal kind of needed to go since, like, it, it was kind of stupid. Like, there's a lot of things you can do with Portal, which, especially with Old Money around. Like, Old Money is a real friend with Portal. We also lose Napcakes. Uh, we'll lose Magicide. What else do we lose? We lose all the good problem decks, uh, like all the good problems and multicolor problems and purple problems and like pink problems. All of them are in core. Current purple problem deck looks like five to six power yeah. on average, which is not great if you're trying to build a control deck. So 
like the way I see purple right now is not as a control color in defenders, but more like as a mid rangey and even maybe a secondary color rather than the primary one. Yeah. Like I I don't really have high beliefs for purple in defenders block because of all the things that it lost and with pretty much no replacement for them. Like for Magicite, I guess you have burning bridges, but it's not as great as Magicite. Yeah. And at least we keep some AT gens, like the fact that we have Starlight helps a lot because we don't have to run like Starlight is a great replacement for cover to cover. I'm fine with going with letting cover to cover go and having Starlight instead. It'll be way worse if we didn't have anything that could replace it. But yeah, I think because of the problem deck and because we don't have as many uh, trick events anymore, uh, purple isn't really good as a control. Like I think pink white has a better shot. Absolutely, yeah. I, I think if purple does see play, it's going to be as a like a very different kind of color because it's true. Uh, the event suite is basically just getting gutted. Um, but if, if I look at like which purple friends had ever seen play, most of them that are rotating out aren't super significant, except for cover to cover, uh, Moon Dancer. Yeah, but she has a replacement. Uh, what else? Uh, there's Moon Dancer yeah. comes to mind. Moon Dancer People for sure. didn't really. Both of them, actually. <laughs> yeah. But like. Big ones that I've like seen play recently, you know, Sunset's still here. Um, what else? Yeah. Like is like okay ish. Like this I would be very interested and appreciative if in core purple just became an aggro color. And no. Just like switch <laughs> it all around. Turn everything on, on, on its head. Yeah, I mean that I mean I think that's what's going to happen, yeah, kind of. That comes at, at that comes at the expense of like not having any viable control deck, which is probably <laughs> probably a bad thing once you get there. Uh, as I said, I think pink white still has a shot, but yeah. I don't really see like a good like tier 1 control deck in purple, but maybe I'm just not seeing something, but that's my current like impression. And there is a whole set to potentially fix some of these problems. Uh, yeah. Also, we lose Magic Arena, which is F. <laughs> it's true. I mean, to mention but, resources yeah. again, uh, we've got nothing good anymore. Um, not that Purple had, had amazing resources before, but Star Wars are all behind enemy lines and dilemma are, uh, <laughs> not inspiring much confidence yeah but yeah before we had like the only really purple resource that comes to mind is the rank the poster i don't think the like can you think of anything else uh oh well, except magic arena which is the best card in the yeah game. Yeah, I guess not. Kitty Mark calls. Yeah. No chat. <laughs> but it's true. Yeah. Purple does get to keep school shut down, though. I mean, obviously. Yeah, pr uh, yeah purple, purple keeps a lot of things, too. Like, you still have Luna's Futures. You have you still have school shutdowns. As you mentioned, uh, like, all of the great friends are still there. So I guess for my particular case, a zeroed out is not a thing. But uh, other than that, like purple still keeps a lot of good stuff as far as like friends are concerned. But for events, not really. No. Mm -hmm. it's, it's it's still good at resource removal as well. Like Pluton's futures, mysterious disappearances are both quite great options, mm -hmm. depending on what we are trying to do. But yeah. Yeah, purple's gonna be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, but I do believe that purple like takes the biggest hit here. Out of all colors. 
Uh, but maybe I'm. Bi- I mean, I- I'm not going to disagree. Purple like had its heyday in Equestrian Odyssey, and had magic and marks, uh, so it's not particularly surprising that it gets hit pretty hard. All right, white. Uh, yeah, white. Miss Main. Miss Main is still here. This is true. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the good news, again, starting with mains like usual, uh, is that Ocellus is like an okay starting point. Yeah. Uh, but that's that's about it. Yeah, but as with Orange, not like core doesn't really change much. I guess you get Ambassador of Generosity, which is a good main option for control. <laughs> And Octavia is a good option for aggro. It's actually kind of sad to lose Octavia. But yeah, other than that, is mains don't really change much. And as as with orange, there aren't any like generic mains that you can just use in any decks. Very true. Unlike for other colors. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I would like to just, for uh, almost like for posterity's sake, there is a small chance I can see of Capper potentially working like two or three sets down the line. Um, I'm, j- I'm just going to say it. Maybe. Okay, well, record that. <laughs> <laughs> like if, I don't know. That amount of recursion is, is quite significant. Yeah, and given that like Core loses a lot of recursion to like cleaning up and other things, yeah, Capper might be an option for okay. Yeah, as far as things that we lose, we lose uh, cleaning up, as I mentioned. Mm-hmm. Uh, we lose a lot of multicolor white cards. We also lose uh, some good white entry, like Prim Hemline. Yeah, actually, uh, Prim was something I, I was going to mention as well. Uh, that card is yeah. great, for, great for the slower mid range of your control decks. Um, having one card that does all your entry for you. Pretty great. Yep. I guess we lose also photo finish, but with Miss Main around, it's not a really yeah. big loss. Yeah. We can live without it now. And even if there was no Miss Main, I think Throne would still be in like okay uh, option. Oh yeah, if if there was no Miss Main, Photo Finish would get replaced by Throne. Ab- yeah, a- absolutely. Um, let's see, if there actually isn't, just looking at that the list of friends here, there's not that many that stand out. I guess um, uh, Harsh Judge is the card. That oh yeah. Once upon a time, it's awesome play. Still significant. I think Harsh, like if her judge was in defender's block, I think it would actually see play just because the card pool is smaller, so people have less options what to run. So you see like not as like like pink doesn't have like three hundred different removal options anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so just. Name belly flop or something and be somewhat safe yeah. for some time. Name belly flop, name old money, name school shut down, whatever. Yeah. Any of those things, yeah. Um, let's see. Interesting. Hey, good it. news. Oh. Uh, white keeps its resource removal. <laughs> That's true. Petite sneeze. Still yep. here. Bless you. Uh, yeah, it actually holds on to a relatively diverse set of events. Uh, we still have, as you say, resource removal, we still have vanishing stuff, we still have movement tricks. Like, with, with only five, sorry, six cards, still a good set of 
options. I think a card that players will probably miss, especially if farming will be actually a thing, is Crack. But even without farming against any troublemaker control, Crack was pretty good. Yeah. yeah. And cra Crack is no more. We have a substitute, which is a free color song. <laughs> but other than that, there's no, like, white doesn't have that anymore. It's true. The, uh, the days of running white and just having that insurance against control is. Those days are over. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, hello. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's one relatively, uh, there's basically one story with yellow, which is the bad stuff is rotating out and the good stuff is staying. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say. Yeah, uh, like while other colors lose something, I think yellow pretty much loses nothing. Like Pui, I guess he loses that. Uh, there isn't much that. Yeah, yellow like will be really sad about. Uh, so I'm a little sad about losing lemon hearts. Um, yeah. She was an okay turn one play if you're expecting a stick on uh, the other side. Uh, but. Or any other, actually, immediate. Like, beavers are gone too, so. Mm -hmm. That's actually true. Beavers is gone as well. Uh, I think yellow also loses a lot of things that make critters. Like uh, there's no fruitball. There's yeah, no... most of the token stuff was in high magic. magic. That's true. Yeah. As pointed out, Industrial Revolution was a great event. Like it, it's yeah. it's got replacements. Crawling critters is fine. Sanctuary construction is fine. Yeah, I think like it's 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 just like with blue. Like blue loses T-Rex Reign of Terror, but still keeps a lot of great dilemmas, and it's the same thing. Yellow is definitely the color that is the happiest about defenders staying in. Uh, yeah. Because that allows it to keep Bunyip, uh, to keep, obviously, the good mains. That helps a lot. Yeah, pretty much all the good stuff is still in yellow. And yeah, as you said in the beginning. Yeah. Doesn't lose much. Like, yeah. yeah. Has the biggest boost out of all colors. Yeah. With uh... if 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 anyone from Enterplay is listening, you know this. I understand. Like, it's been like six years since anyone told you anything different. But you can stop pushing yellow. Uh, it's in an okay spot now. <laughs> <laughs> you say that, but then, like in the. Five more years, you will say it otherwise. Mm -hmm. Because maybe it will become the worst color again. Who knows? Uh, now would be the time to potentially try giving us yellow control. Give us a Celestia main that does control stuff and some, some yellow control cards. You just want the Celestia main. I mean, I did. <laughs> Oh yeah, we lose Trixie main with the defender's block. This is that was a sad. Yeah, you got through all the purple without mentioning that. I was surprised. Yeah, I'm disappointed with myself. Yeah, I I don't think, even think that like we should go over stuff that yellow keeps because it's all of it. Yeah. Like, take the mono yellow deck, which existed in core before. Like, if you compare the Defenders version of it with core version, it's like, what, a couple of course changes? Let me actually open the core one. That's a good point. I, I, I have it here. Uh, go back to my piece I'm on here.
Oh, yeah. Uh, so yeah, there's a few. Industrial Revolution, as we covered, as we mentioned before. Um, let's see, there is um, a colorless card that we're going to get to. We uh, get to the colorless cards. It's not. <laughs> Hello. But besides that, um, yeah, that's basically it. So is debate now over? Now that defenders block is the thing, we don't have to argue about that anymore. Well, we just ignore it. Yeah. Sweep under the rug. Well, except in harmony. But yeah. Yeah. All right. So, about the multicolor cards. Ooh, there's a lot of them. There's a lot of them. I guess get the elephant out of the room right away. It wouldn't be meticulous talks if we didn't mention Party of One. Um, it's yep. gone. Say it for Sorry, you. Solving. Yeah. But yeah, besides that, as you say, there, there's a lot of them. Uh, you mentioned Factory Jack earlier. Yeah, Factory Jack comes to mind. Uh, Daring Do Poster, Fashion Disaster. Uh, uh, soprano and some... Cadence. Oh, yeah, Soprano and Cadence. Both great pink white cards. Uh... Soren in blue. Oh yeah, the retirement engine. Kratos for pink yellow. Uh white yellow. Yeah. Also lose some events like bats. True. Yeah. As brought up in chat, all the two color songs are gone. Mm-hmm. Of which bats was uh one of the bigger ones, yeah. Or, you know, it, it was one of the more interesting ones, I guess. Yeah. No more bet time for yellow control. For the record, yeah, ho ho uh, wh wh while we're talking about combo pieces, Hoity Toity's gone too. So. Yeah, but he's been fixed in the rules, so that's. Ah, that's, true. Uh, that's true. At least Harmony doesn't have to worry about him. Capper is still there. Look out for Capper. That's true. Yeah. You will look out for Capper as a control, and I will look out for Capper as a combo. <laughs> because, like, as like my general observation is that most of the combo decks just abuse the fact that you can return more than one card with some other card. Like hoity toity, you just get cards out of your discard pile, or right. juggling routine, or like trender hoof, which uh, play one to get something back. And Capri is such a card, so mm. it's true. Uh, Clony is gone. Bird. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it is gone. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, Zipper wheel is gone, it's true. which is more movement things for purple yellow. Also, if a purple thing that I forgot to mention is rest in pieces, it's uh, also a big event oh, to lose true. for purple. Yeah. But um, not as big with school shutdown now, but still, yellow keeps their middle broke. Uh, a key yearling for aggro, as well as some uh, orange blue cards mm -hmm. in general. Yeah, it's there's true. a lot of good orange blue cards in there. Blue white is losing, yeah. Nikki Deerling and different decorator and cybernetic limb actually. Oh, yeah, the wing is the big one too. Yeah. Yeah, you mentioned bedtime already. 
Wonderbolt Stadium, which I mentioned earlier, is a big one for Blue Orange as well. Yeah, I think Blue Orange is the thing that loses the most of like as a color combination. Yeah, a lot of it's good stuff. Uh, I don't think you've said it specifically yet, but Orchard Blossom was a great card. Yeah. I mean, it uh, keeps Mullet at least. Something. Else. Yeah, that's true. All right, well, finish off with the no colors, mostly troublemakers. Yep. Trixie. It's true. Trixie. And all three glimmers as well are actually big. Oh, yeah. That's when Odyssey's glimmer, glimmer villain, and the free glimmer. All cards are soft lady in their home. Yeah, this is why I'm kind of skeptical on the farming because there's just not enough troublemakers there. That's fair to say. But we'll see. As more sets come in, more epics come in. Mm -hmm. With defenders staying in, who's happy about yep. three more sets of mimics? Yay! <laughs> Yeah, I think if there was no Mimics, Cozy Glow would actually see playing. I believe that. Uh, yeah. She's she's a pretty uh, okay replacement for them. I mean, she might she play anyway. No. Um, yeah. So yeah. Um, with, like, with all the great stuff we're getting from Defenders, we're getting Mimics too, so <laughs> we'll have to leave with them for a while. Nice. They're here to stay. Yeah. I mean, we already mentioned Feral, but I don't think there's really any overemphasis possible on how big of a blow that is. Yeah. I think Barrel like, is the most impactful card to lose because, like, it's impactful because it just affects so many decks mm -hmm. because it works for any color. And pretty much any deck had, like, at least one of the Barrel. Yeah. I would have to go look at what archives there are, but I'd, I'd be willing to bet that, that Barrel was probably the most played card of the entire, like, core. Uh, yeah. Thing. Yeah. Like, along with Tick, maybe? Uh, I'd have to do some math. Because <laughs> you have to normalize for, like, you know, whatever. Um, but yeah, they're probably close-ish. Yeah. I think an interesting thing to lose uh, in Defender's block is Changeling Pretender, which was an interesting colors main choice. She wasn't actually colorless, but uh, she's colorless as far as we're concerned right now. Mm -hmm. She was versatile. Like an aloe. Yeah. Be interesting to see if we get something similar. Place mm -hmm. Even just another Chrysalis main of some description. Maybe. Is she the only colorless main so far, right? Yep. Yeah. The only yeah, printed colorless main. Yeah. Yeah, but I think oh oh, there's a colorless card that's interesting to lose is the smooth. Did you mention him? Oh, the the discard eating smooth. That's right. Yeah, that's, that's kind of a big one with all the mist mains. That is actually doesn't a very good necessarily one. stop mist main, but does stop recursion. Hmm. Some sort of it at least. And magical misfire is gone too, which I forgot to say. Uh, yes, from purple. So there's no way to get rid of one's uh, discard pile except with, uh, with Blindfold, which is like a band-aid rather than mm -hmm. permanent. Yeah. For Miss Main, both 
all the cards that you that, that you could potentially replace her with, and most of her counters are also rotating it. Welcome to the era of Miss Mm-hmm. Okay. Anything else you want to say on cards? Uh much, I don't think. Well, but I, I don't know if we've super emphasized train traditions yet. Um, but oh yeah, train traditions is a big one. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's. I mean, like, it, it it basically all it's the main highlight of the defenders block. It doesn't have train traditions. Pretty much, yeah. Um, start the the choice of starting problem gets a little bit fun again, maybe. Uh, if you're a control yep. deck, well, okay. <laughs> if you're a control deck, we've already covered the fact that you don't have any good problems anyway, so... Royal Breakfast, it's like the kind best of. you have. Yeah. It's, it's okay, it's, it's not... As long as you're not playing Confront to Flip, yeah. you're okay with uh, Royal Breakfast. And lacking lesson plans is not a bad problem too, like 4-6 is not too bad, like... When the rest of your deck has like fives and sixes anyway, four six is fine and helps you against other control decks. Yeah. So liking plans is an okay option as well. Yeah, that's good. That's a fair point. It'll it'll be interesting to see actually whether liking lesson plan stays super relevant or not. Uh, I mean, it it all essentially comes down to whether tempest decks are still possible or like. Troublemaking control decks in general. In general, yeah. But yeah, like with without portal and all the old money shenanigans, it's so much harder to defend troublemakers. So yeah, we, we'll see what what happens. But I I'm fairly convinced that like aggro is the king right now, and control can't really like control can do stuff, but not on the same level as the aggro can. Yeah, absolutely. simply because like yellow can just do all the stuff it did before, and yellow was fine against like core decks. Like mono mono yellow core deck was okay against like control decks with all the portals, old monies, and stuff like that. And in defenders block, all of those are gone, and yellow keeps all the things. Pretty much. I'm looking for a world where control dies. And then everyone takes out all their dilemmas and anti-troublemaker stuff, and then I get to win a tournament with Strawberry. <laughs> <laughs> but smoothies are rotating. What are you gonna uh, do? Well, they're still, they're still vicious vengeance. I guess. Yeah, yeah. I guess she's still there. Anyway, or you could do like I don't know, cozy glow shenanigans, like challenge cozy glow retired friend. And then you flip goes. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I don't know. I mean, uh, uh, a lot of it is still going to come down to next set. But hopefully, yeah. we've identified sort of the problem. Well, no, I, 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 I don't want to say problems that need fixing, but uh, the short main impression. Yeah, yeah. That the colors have right now, that could potentially get shored up. Yeah. And which colors you need to watch out for, which is yellow. Mm hmm. I mean, as as was mentioned in the chat already, there is some yellow happening uh, in the defenders block events right now. Yeah, I think some yellow is not strong enough. <laughs> There's a lot of yellow. Like if it's not if it's not mono yellow, then it's like blue yellow. Or oh, that's right. I, I was actually is... gonna, gonna mention yeah? that. Like blue yellow gets to keep like all of its strong multicolor cards. Like the only cards. Yeah, Shusha and Chillax, Field Racers. Like I guess you lose. Uh, a true true friend, which didn't see much play anyway, but still. That's true. 
a thing to consider or dangerous mission outfit. But still didn't see much play. Like all of the good stuff right now replaces those cards. Mm. Like why would you run dangerous mission outfit when you can run chillax and everyone has plus one power always? Well, all the Pegasi. Oh, right. But why would you run cards that aren't Pegasi except the Shushine? Yes, exactly. Except the Shushine. She, she's the only exception. We need a resource that colors friends into Pegasi so we can put wings on Shushine. Maybe. Uh, turning things in, in, in into Pegasi is really dangerous right now because uh, appropriate business attire exists. Yes, but at the same time, there isn't as much removal anymore. So is persistent really that relevant? Um, like what, what what you have, you have belly flop and old money, which you can't borrow. That's it. Yeah, those are the big ones that come to mind. Sure. Like you're not going to run sorry stamp, are you? Maybe you will actually. Well. If you're running Earth Bonnet. Yeah, if if the uh, top shelf stuff and the second shelf stuff and the third shelf stuff is all gone, then you've got to pull out the fourth shelf. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, the Petit Sneeze story. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess Petit Sneezes also can banish friends, so. But yeah, I, I'm, not, I'm not like sure that Business Attire is as good as. It is in core just because there's just it's not as much removal as it there used to be. Yeah. It is still great against skill shutdown though, so not sure. Awesome. Yeah. I think it depends on how like how much people will run skill shutdown. Which is probably any purple deck, so oh, it comes down to how much people yeah. will run purple decks. Okay. Well, I I think that covers everything about uh, block change. Yeah. The one thing I want to mention that we didn't really talk about, like the shift itself, like from beyond block to defender's block. Okay. But I don't think there's much to talk about there, except that some colors gain a lot of stuff that they wouldn't have otherwise, like belly flop. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. We, 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 we mentioned how pink gets to keep belly flop, yellow gets to keep good mains. Um, those uh, are... Blue gets to keep bambers. Yeah. Purple gets to keep Linus feature. And Mysterious Disappearance. Right. So purple pretty much keeps all its resource removal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like all in all, it, and I think every well, obviously everyone benefits because we all get cards. Uh, but <laughs> um, in general, there was some pretty important stuff that stayed in. Yeah, I think they benefit pretty much more or less equally, like all of the colors. Like y you can say that yellow gets more stuff from defenders than purple or blue. Mm -hmm. I guess blue is kind of the weakest one in that sense, in the gain sense. Mm -hmm. I think they still gain like, yeah, more or less equally from defenders. Like, uh, yeah, in in an absolute sense, I, I'd say like relatively, yellow gains more because it goes from being almost bad from not having any good mains to being amazing. Um, yeah, I guess the main thing is the big. But then again, like purple would be also bad without the resource removal. So yeah, good mm -hmm. point. Huh. Yeah, it's hard to compare, but yeah, I think that's it was ultimately more or less. yeah good. I think it's what I would say. And uh, honestly, I'm like on the assumption that this is you know that the block is going to change that that the core uh, format is going to rotate next set. I, I think it is, is probably a good idea to kind of move that forward a little bit by moving the boundary back. Because yeah. more frequent rotations is just good in general. Up to a point, of course. Yeah. Do you think, though, that like, uh, like 
if the core is actually rotating uh, three sets, like with a period of three sets, do you think six sets, like which is the most that you could have, is enough? So that is something. We that's... right now have six sets in core. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that's something that is worth considering. That you know, say for example, defenders and and sequestria might have been sets that were designed uh, with the idea in mind that core was going to be eight sets, and so you know. They per, 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 were perhaps you know not as generalist as could be. Like when, when you when you when you have more sets in, in the format, the sets can be a little bit narrower in terms of what they focus on. Um, yeah, and so it's possible that uh, like that's obviously going to have to be something that the designers worry about going forward. Uh, that is possible that we end up with a little bit too narrow stuff right now on the rotation, but I think we'll be okay. Yeah. Fair point. Okay, I think right. that's okay. everything. All right. Um, next week, or two weeks from now, the our next game, of course, uh, we're going to have store championships results to talk about, I'd imagine. Uh, uh, yeah. Those are happening this weekend and next weekend, so two weeks from now should be good to go. Uh, mm -hmm. That will be July July seventh, July seventh, and then two weeks from then we can preview Bronicon, uh, maybe, and maybe Galicon. Yeah, that's that's worth talking about too. So anyway, um, naturally we appreciate everybody who showed up. To watch this this morning. If you uh, know anyone who would like to be here but couldn't make it, or just want to check out our stuff afterwards, uh, we do upload everything to YouTube after we're done. I, uh, oh, yeah, that'll be up probably in half an hour to an hour or so after we sign off. Um, but until then, I've been Chris Accord. I've been Hifrock. And we'll see you on a fortnight. Bye.